Good morning. Good morning. May I have your attention, please? Um, my name is Dr. Ronald C. Williams, Associate Professor of Management in the College of Business. On behalf of Dr. Anthony Jenkins, President of Coppin State University and the entire Eagle Nation, I want to welcome you to the 2022 Convocation Ceremony. If you would, please mute all electronic devices and prepare yourselves for the procession of the students, faculty, and administration of the Coppin State University. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2026 and the class of 2023.
like a stool. Ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished Coppin State University faculty.
ladies and gentlemen, the Coppin State University leaders and guest speaker. The eighth president of Coppin State University, Dr. Anthony L. Jenkins. may be seated. We are the products of an immense torque that propels this universe. We are not individuals, but a great accumulation of all that lived before. Tanya Tagik. In other words, we are the imagination and greatest hope of our ancestors, and we make them proud. We are the collective reality of those audacious hopes and dreams of Fanny Jackson Coppin. We are the great Coppin State University. Good morning. To those members of the University System of Maryland Board of Regents, President Anthony L. Jenkins, Anthony L. Jenkins, members of the executive leadership team, administrators, faculty, staff, students, and guests, welcome. Welcome to the fall 2022 opening convocation ceremony. I am Dr. Pamela Richardson Wilkes, and I serve as provost and vice president for academic affairs here at Coppin State University. And I just want to thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning on this most auspicious occasion. As the ceremonial start of the academic year and most time-honored tradition of the academy, opening convocation ceremonies not only recognize the opening of an academic year, but also welcomes faculty, staff, and students collectively back, and in this case here, as one Coppin. 
According to Dr. Stephen Gavazi, Dean at the Ohio State University of Mansfield, convocation is the recognition of the scholarly circle of life, marking the entrances and exits of students into the academic life of college, intended to convey to students the importance of their educational work. This, this ceremony embraces and acknowledges new students into the institutional fold, a rite of passage as inaugural members joining this community of scholars as academicians and, of course, as eagles. Further, it shows Coppin's commitment to support you, our students, as you pursue and complete your educational aspirations, as this is the front bookend to the commencement ceremony which will mark the end of your academic career. This opening convocation ceremony is even more special as it officially marks our return back to campus after a tumultuous journey and navigation through a global pandemic. We are continuing to navigate this new normal as Coppin and prepared to celebrate the wins while addressing the challenges that we may face as a result. However, today as we sit side by side, we are ready, prepared, and determined to fearlessly counter whatever challenges may come our way in an effort to make an institutional and global impact on the societies and communities we serve. Therefore, today I welcome you as a part of this academic body, a body of, in the words of Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi determined spirits fired by an unquenchable faith that is altering the course of history, shifting the culture, and uniting in faith and action, one voice saying we are all in and we are as one copy. At this time, I will ask that you rise and join Ms. Andromeda Bacchus, class of 2025, an urban arts major in the singing of the Star Spangled Banner, followed by Lift Every Voice and Sing. Ms. Bacchus. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam? Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming Spangled banner yet waved o'er the land of the free and the home of the every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring ring with the harmonies of liberty let all rejoicing rise Sky. 
it resound loud as the rolling seas. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us facing the rising sun of a new day begun let us march on till victory is won Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Ms. Backus. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge some special guests in the audience. I will ask first that the First Lady of Coppin State University, Ms. Toinette Jenkins, please stand to be recognized. First Lady Jenkins. Next, I would ask that the students of Coppin Academy, along with their principal and faculty, staff, and administrators who are joining us today, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. At this time, I would ask if, present, if the president of the Coppin State University National Alumni Association would please stand to be recognized. <laughs> if there are any government, corporate, and community partners that are here with us today to share in this occasion, I would ask that you be, uh, please stand to be recognized at this time. I'd also like to recognize our wonderful and esteemed faculty and staff who work tirelessly and effortlessly to serve the students of Coppin State University. And I'm gonna take this time to thank you for your dedication and service in support of the academic and student life of our scholars. I am actually gonna ask if all of our faculty would please stand. I would also like to ask that any staff who is also here, who work tirelessly to service our students, if you would also at this time please stand to be recognized. Thank you. And to Mr. Coppin and Miss Coppin State University, would you please stand to be recognized? as well as members of the Student Government Association. And I'm not gonna forget the royal court because you're so beautiful on this morning and handsome. Thank you. At this time, I invite Mr. Justin Evans, Student Government Association President, to come forward and bring greetings. Mr. Evans. <clears throat> Ain't God good? <laughs> greetings, President Jenkins, our distinguished guests, and Coppin community members present and virtual. I am Justin Evans a Coppin senior, and I have the pleasure of serving as your two-time Student Government Association president. I would like to first start by acknowledging and congratulating our newly elected student leaders and ambassadors serving throughout our Coppin community. To my fellow Coppin seniors, we have arrived at the start of a journey with lasting rewards awaiting us in May 2024. Coppin has poured into us over the past four years, and it is now time for us to complete the journey. 
I challenge you to remain focused as we navigate our last year as undergraduate students. Whether you come to Coppin State University from one of our many surrounding communities or venture from afar, Africa, Australia, the Caribbean islands, or elsewhere geographically, I welcome you home to the Eagle Nation. Please indulge me in shifting our focus to welcoming our newest members to Coppin State University, our class of 2026. I too, along with Coppin's administration, staff, faculty, and fellow students, congratulate and welcome you to the Eagle Nation. You selected Coppin as your institution of choice, has allowed you to open doors to limitless possibilities, to support you personally and academically. Seeing something in yourself is one of the primary reasons you are sitting before us today. We each carry uniquenesses to our brand. As your SGA president, I encourage us all to continue to mold and define our brand, our journey, and our legacy as a student at Coppin State University. This will be an investment we each must commit ourselves to. One would ask, are you a Rolex, a pair of Gucci shoes, or a, tel a Telfar bag? All are nice brands, but what will your brand be? Your brand consists of or how will you define your time rather starting as a student or finishing up your academic journey at Coppin? I ask, what will your brand be? We, mu we each must realize we have joined a community of care, a community of support, a community of where we are all enabled and challenged to soar. We are a part of the Eagle Nation at the great Coppin State University. My fellow peers, I leave you with my final words of encouragement. Do not sit silent. Allow yourself to be immersed in our Coppin community and take full advantage of all the support services and resources available for us all. Be engaged and involved. To our administration, staff, and faculty, I ask that you continue to pour into your brand, our brand. Continue to partner with us. Continue to be Coppin proud. I believe in our Coppin, and I am excited to be a member of the Eagle Nation. Thank you, and God bless Coppin, and go Eagles. Thank you, Mr. Evans, for your leadership and your commitment to Coppin, and of course, your words of greetings to our campus collective. At this time, it is my pleasure to bring forward our platform guest of the hour, Mr. Kondwani Fidel Russell Jr., featured writer, spoken word artist, and speaker that we are privileged to have serve on the faculty here as assistant professor of English. While his biographical sketch is provided in the program for your review, Mr. Russell has performed for various audiences, including noted elected federal and local government officials, iconic and legendary political and entertainment figures, and most importantly, he gives back through his gifts to elementary and college age students. At this time, it is my pleasure to bring to you Mr. Kondwani Fidel Russell Jr. to share his gift of inspiration, voice, and agency with us today in his way, Mr. Russell. Thank you, thank you. When I was a kid, I used to get straight A's on all of my report cards. And I was the star of the family because everybody just believed that, you know, I was in love with academia and it just wasn't true. I was getting straight A's on my report card because my aunt Sadiq was giving me $20 for every A that I would receive. <laughs> So a hundred plus dollars in the late 90s and 2000s is a lot of money. You know, like when an ice cream truck came through, I'm buying an entire block. You get a cone, you get a cone, you get sprinkles, <laughs> right? Like I felt, I, felt, I felt like Oprah <laughs> in those moments, right? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, once, my, once my aunt stopped giving me that money, uh, I, still, I still did well in school because, you know, that's what my grandmother required and I kind of just became conditioned to do so. 
right? And around the time, you know, I got to high school, I encountered some of the most troubling times I ever, you know, faced at that, at that period of my life. You know, both of my parents were in and out of prison, you know, just dealing with some of the things that come with, you know, growing up in East Baltimore, and I needed an escape, right? And I went to college, and I went to Virginia State, and I was studying sport management. And, um, you know, because of the community there and, the, you know, strong professors and, you know, the people that I was hanging out on campus with, you know, I fell in love with reading, you know, fell in love with writing, changed my major to sport, the sport uh, to, from sport management to English. And um, in those moments, you know, where all of these great things were happening in these communities that kind of always get overshadowed, I was thinking, you know, the mainstream media uh, has only showcased Baltimore you know, through the lens of criminality and violence without any truthful context as to, you know, how these realities were created, right? And truthful accounts of who we are and what we mean as a city are rarely encountered in the media. And if it is, it often, you know, uh, minimizes our experiences and they water down and they commodify. And um, they try their hardest to leave us in the darkness. And through it all, the sun still shines and the birds still sing. And it's the students and the young people in this city who hug and hold that light. It's the students who sing their songs. It's the students who give spectators ears and eyes. It's the students who are clear about the world, but who also had the ability to reimagine a world, which I believe is a courageous act, especially in a country that constantly promotes conformity. You know, what if we lived in a world that showed the power of all of the communities that helped me get to where I am today? Right, it's a it's an American manifesto to, you know, I got it out the mud by myself, no help, you're lying. Right, like we all are community, we all are community made, but a lot of times we fear uh, speaking about the people who helped us get to where we are because the world told us that there's no value in our community, right? What if they often show communities like Cotman State that embraces all pockets of Baltimore you know, our surrounding cities and the other cities in the world that want to be connected to, connected to us, whether it's through a relative or something they've seen on TV, you know, or, or because, you know, we have great programs here. Um, Toni Morrison, who's one of my favorite writers of all time, she has a quote where she says, the fact is the future is not yours for the taking and it is not whatever you make of it. The future is also what other people make of it, how others will participate in it and impinge on your experience of it. And that quote reminds me of what we have here at Coppin and how we are all reflections of one another. We all struggled in various ways in our past that helped mold us, but the beauty lies within the moment today because it is evident that we outlive those struggles. And not only did we outlive those struggles, but we're smart enough and strong enough to analyze them and say to ourselves, I need to do better. I deserve better. We know that these systems of oppression are powerful, right? But how powerful are we? That we overcome obstacles thrown at us every single day, right? <laughs> and more importantly, we do it when no one is looking. We do it when no cameras are present. We do it outside of viral moments. You know, there have been times in all of our lives where we've allowed people and places to pin and prick holes in us which caused our light to seep out. But Coppin is that clay of community that has the power to patch up those holes. This institution has housed and produced some of the world's greatest scholars, writers, athletes, nurses, lawyers, fashion designers, nail techs, wig makers, tattoo artists, whatever you wanna name, right or wrong, right or wrong. We see it every day. We see it every day. While entering this new chapter of y'all lives, you know, y'all must build community. And, you know, building community isn't an accessory, but it's a necessity. I believe that the most liberating thing that young people and students can do is take their own, take that academic freedom into their own hands, take advantage of that academic future. Huey P. Newton once said, the young always inherit the revolution. And for some students out there, I know the weight of the world is a pain you didn't ask for. Some days you'll be Goliath, and on others you'll fall to the ground. Keep it moving even if you have to crawl on miles of cut glass. Your scars will remind you that you made it. Your scars will remind you that you're human. They will remind you that you're strong. And when you get to the end of the road, your favorite victory song will play in your head and you'll celebrate. The journey seemed impossible at one point, but you realize you did in fact travel the right way. 
We got to continue to show one another the power we have in our wings so we can fly and snatch every door off the hinges and accept those lovely people in places who impinge on our existence in some form or fashion. We all made it through the trenches. We, we encounter fences that was built to keep us roses caged in, but we always find ways to navigate in the mazes we've been placed in. Some days the pendulum will swing in your favor and on others it will swing in the favor of your opposite. And every time this world gives you a gift, even if it's a smile on your worst days, pocket it, save it, put it in a safe place, deposit it. Congratulations, Cotton State University. I'm glad to be a part of what we have here. Thank you. Mr. Russell, thank you for that awe-inspiring performance. Oh, yes, okay. Give him another hand. Um, you have truly left us with the necessary encouragement and motivation that will surely propel us successfully into this academic year. So again, thank you. Thank you for sharing your gift, your talent, and your treasure with us on today. Now at this time, it is my absolute privilege to bring before you a man who needs no introduction, but I'm going to take this opportunity to do so for those of you who may just happen to be a little unfamiliar. <laughs> As president, he embodies an unquenchable spirit of innovation, creativity, and provides an unequivocal level of transformational leadership that is creating not only a history, but a continued legacy for tomorrow's generations. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring forward our illustrious, indomitable, and most distinguished leader, the eighth president of Coppin State University, Dr. Anthony L. Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to have to go to my thesaurus. <laughs> to translate what the provost just said about me. <laughs> Make sure it's not uh, anything I'm not too intelligent to interpret. Uh, Provost, you, you said uh, the man of the hour or something like that. Um, Mr. Russell, stand up. Let's give this another round of applause. Let's stand up and show our appreciation for this intellectual strength here. Welcome to the Fall 2022 Convocation. It is great to see all of you all. I hope everybody is doing well and your fall semester is off to a great start. It's a pleasure to be here with you, Mr. Russell, Provost Wilkes, faculty, staff, and most importantly, our incredible students. This is an opportunity where, here at the university, we pause for a moment. And when I got up this morning, I was talking to the First Lady, and um, I was so pleased that her schedule would allow her to be with us today. And um, she asked me, she said, what are you going to say today? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still working on it. Uh, but I want to thank her for her unwavering support and allowing me to serve as your president. So thank you very much. And on behalf of the faculty, the staff, administration, alumni, and the First Lady, we're here to welcome our newest Eagles and salute our continuing Eagles as we start a new semester. You know, when I was helping students move in uh, this summer, 
a few of them noted that they had some reservations about whether they were going to fit in, if they were going to be welcomed here at Coppin. And that's natural. You're moving to a new place and uh, starting to get your feet under you. But to all of our new students, let me be clear. Whether you are from Maryland or across the United States of America or from around the world, you are welcomed here at Coppin. This is your home. And for the next four years, we are going to support you to soar like never before. See, today is an extraordinary day. This morning, we pause to participate in this time-honored tradition. See, convocation is a university ceremony whereby we assemble the faculty, staff, and university leadership to celebrate the great legacy of our beloved Coppin, to welcome our newest members into the community of scholars that we have established, and to acknowledge the matriculation of our seniors who are on the final stretch of their undergraduate careers. <laughs> this ceremonial ritual is designed to impress upon you the importance of today, one that is essential to your assimilation into the culture, tradition, and expectations of Coppin State University. Today, you are embarking on a journey, a quest for knowledge, discovery, and a more profound understanding of the human condition. You are, in fact, on a quest for truth. See, the academic regalia that is worn by many around this room reflects an unwavering dedication and sacrifice to scholarship, the academy, lifelong learning, and an oath to educate students from a place of authenticity. And here at Coppin State University, we take that responsibility seriously. See, during my educational journey, and just like yours, we're going to walk with you. I had those who mentored and supported me throughout my undergraduate experience. And your time here at Coppin, we are going to challenge you, lift you, and expose you to experiences that will transform you, nurture your curiosity, and introduce you to what can be. The faculty, staff, alumni, and administration, we are here to engage you to become a meaningful part of your educational life. The journey you are on, it is about you, your growth. You will develop friendships with many scholars who have vast different backgrounds than what you have ever been introduced to. As a future leader who will inherit the most diverse nation we've ever had, I am challenging you and encouraging you to take the time to learn from your fellow eagles and also share with them your story, your backdrop, and the roads that you have traveled. See, throughout your time at Coppin, allow yourself to be uncomfortable. Allow yourself to enter uncomfortable conversations and moments. Whether in the classroom or outside the classroom, present your position on important issues when you feel strongly on a matter. But always, always do so in a respectful and professional manner. See, education is designed to be interchangeable. It flows from faculty to student, from student to faculty, and from student to student. I want you to be actively involved in the shared governance of your own education. And know that it is OK to hold your ground in the classroom or in the residence halls when you have a debate. But the rule is that if you never change your mind on any topic, then you are not learning and you are not growing. See, during your journey, during your journey of discovery, I encourage you to keep your mind as open as your eyes. When I was in school, 400 some moons ago, <laughs> I recall my dean would routinely tell new students, 
Look to your left. Look to your right. One of you three will not be here next year. <clears throat> the message was that the university academics were so rigorous, perhaps unnecessarily so, that one of three of you would not graduate. And the dean seemed proud of this. Well, that is not the reputation that we value at Coppin State University. See, to the contrary, we are committed to the success of all of our students, each and every one of you. Yes, our academic programs are rigorous and demanding, but we will develop you to exceed even your own expectations. So let me be clear, you would not be here if we were not completely confident that you can succeed. And as the faculty, staff, alumni, and administration, we are dedicated to your success. See, our success is measured by your success. And during the next several years, some of you in this auditorium will need help academically, emotionally, and financially. Each of you are granted agency. The degree to which an individual has the ability to make decisions for her or his life. This impacts your self-care, your judgment, and positions you to be a part of promoting your own health and safety. And never forget that we are all in this together. I want you to get the most out of your abilities and the most out of your time at Coppin. As you grow and you work to making yourself better emotionally and intellectually, encourage the same of your fellow eagles. Remember what I said during new, I mean, new, uh, new, uh, uh, new student orientation. And that is that you have a responsibility to make sure you leave no eagle behind. All of us have a responsibility to help each other. I need all of you to lean in for one another. On your way to achieving your personal and educational goals here at Coppin, never shy away from seeking help or reaching out to help someone else. The decision to seek help, it will not diminish your intellectual strength. In fact, it will reinforce it. And helping others will not compromise your ability to flourish. It will elevate your level of maturity. So, if I were to ask you to look to your left and look to your right, I would urge you to say to your fellow eagles, let's travel this journey together and let's finish what we have started. <laughs> let everyone, let everyone here and everyone who makes up this community of scholars pledge to be all in for one another and for our beloved Coppin. See, we all have a responsibility to cherish and safeguard these hallowed grounds and all that who assemble upon them. Our beloved Coppin is worth it. She is the catalyst to lifting you to yet experiences and a future that you have yet to enter. She is the difference maker. She will take you and move you to places and in spaces that you never would have had the opportunity to enter. Coppin is a special place, but only because it is made up of special people like all of you. I need my new eagles and my continuing eagles to do what is right by this wonderful university. And as president, I assure you that the university will do right by you. So Eagle Nation, 
let's rise and soar as high as we possibly can because at Coppin State University, the sky is not the limit. Thank you. Let's have a great year and go Eagles. Mr. President, thank you so much for your words of inspiration and wisdom. Thank you. At this time, we will now begin the ceremonial presentation of welcoming our new students into the fold at Coppin State University. I now ask Mr. Evans if you would please approach the podium to lead the members of the class of 2026 in the convocational pledge. You would have received that little convocation not notice uh, as you walked inside of the auditorium. If you would, Mr. Evans, and if all new freshmen or new students to the institution would please stand at this time. Students, please join me in reciting this pledge. I hereby promise to, to be a loyal and contributing member of the Coppin State University community to abide. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start over. Recite it with me. Say it with me. Say it. We're gonna say it together for real. My fault, y'all. My fault. My fault. My fault. We got this, though. We got this. We got this. Um. So, students, please join me in reciting this pledge, please. I hereby promise to be a loyal and contributing member of the Coppin State University community, to abide by the code of community standards to foster a responsible environment for learning and living, and to display behaviors that respect myself and the dignity of others, to strive for excellence in all that I do, to seek a broad holistic college experience and uphold the highest academic integrity, to respect the rich history of Coppin State University and seek truth and purpose in all my actions, to do my best to realize the full potential of my unique personal gifts and abilities, and through leadership and serve, work to make my community and world a better place. We did it. Thank you. At this time, I will ask Dr. Stefan Moore, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Affairs, Mr. Evans and President Jenkins to join us as we hand out your pins and distribute them for you to be able to utilize and welcome you into the fold. Please follow the direction of the ushers who will lead you on stage.
All right. I don't think the president will mind me saying it. That was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. Um, at this time, I'm actually going to ask that every last one of those students that came across the stage, if you would please stand at this time. And I want you to take that pen that you just received, and I want you to pin it on the left side, just a little bit to the left of your heart, on your attire that you have on, on your shirt, just right here to the left, right kind of near your heart because Coppin State University should be a part of your heart and a part of who you are moving forward. We want you to keep us near and dear to you as we'll be near and dear to you through all of the actions that we commit ourselves to and in putting forth from an academic, intellectual, emotional, as well as financial perspective. Everybody got your pens on? Yes. Make sure you carry those with you. Make sure you honor them. Make sure you wear them. And make sure you take pride in knowing that you are, again, at where? The great Coppin State University. That's right. <laughs> you may be seated. As we close our convocation ceremony, I'd like to take this time to thank you for joining us in the celebratory experience. It is our hope that you have a wonderful 2022-2023 academic year that is productive and full of excitement and engagement. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the convocation committee and would ask that you all stand to be recognized. <laughs> Members of the convocation committee. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd also like to thank Mr. James Austin for providing accompaniment and serving as pianist for today's ceremony. Ms. Andromeda Backus, vocalist, Mr. Justin Evans, SGA president, Professor Kondwani for Daryl Russell Jr., time printers, all of our faculty and staff marshals, and the student hosts from the Honors College. Thank you again, and thank you all for sharing with us on today. At this time, I will ask that you stand for the singing of the alma mater, after which we will request that you refrain from moving and just standing until the platform guests, faculty, and students have recessed from the auditorium. Again, please rise for the singing of the alma mater. Hail to the cup and our alma mater true, emblem of light and love of gold and blue. Here at the shrine we bow, gladly to make our vow that we shall always stand, Lord. 